Haleluya. Haleluya. Haleluya kama unaniona. Karibu sana kwa mira kwa service. Mungu awabariki kwa kuja Bwana si. Bwana sifiwe. Kama kuna kiti iko na space mbele yako ningeomba tu songa mbele. In the name of Jesus. Ili tuweze kusikia mahusiano. Bwana sifiwe. Naomba tu tusimame tu ili tukaribishe mtumishi wa Bwana jioni ya leo anapokuja kuleta neno la Mungu Bwana asifiwe. Mpigie makofi mpaka afike hapa. Mpigie makofi mpaka afike hapa. Haleluya! Shangilia Bwana! Ninashukuru Mungu siku ya leo ni kwa sababu ametuwezesha tukafike mahali hapa. Na ninashukuru kila mmoja wenu ni kwa sababu Mungu ametupatia wakati tukafike mahali hapa. Praise God. Nipigie makofi kwa sababu umefika mahali hapa. Kwa siku ya leo ah uh, kwa dakika ya simu sana. Ah uh, chonga tayari. So the topic of my message today is uh, starting afresh with God. Bwana asifiwe. Wenye wanaandika starting afresh with God. That is my theme of my message today. And uh, the theme scripture comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. Isaiah 43 it says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now and it will spring forth. Will you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. When I used to ask you, God is going to make a new thing. Praise God. We are starting afresh with God. When I ask you, this is another year. When I was tired of going afresh with my mother, I was saying to myself, this is what is in your heart to know is she, Amma. If we, when we see things ambayo zinaendelea or when you remember the former things ambayo uh, labda umepitia many challenges vitu mingi ambayo maisha yako imekuwa ikipitia bwana asifiwe nikasema ya kwamba it's time to seek a new vision a new interest in the things of god bwana asifiwe the former things fail imekuwa challenges ime ime affect maisha yetu sana bwana asifiwe the former things ime affect many things in our lives Say that some of us kuna watu they are still living in the past and uh, past is the ni place tunaweza kaa lakini hakuna kitu tutafanya bwana asifiwe nikasema ya kwamba the old has passed away behold the new has come this is the heart of a gospel bwana asifiwe you as a christian uliokoka there are many former things uh even ask today hakuna mtu ana that history Uh, let me give you a, a short story. Uh, when uh, my brother in law married. So wa mama mnajua tu venye bibi akiletwa kwa goma lazima kukuwe na story mingi story mingi praise God. Na mwenye alikuwa anajua story zake uh, venye alifika kwenye ambe nikamwambia kwa hii maisha hakuna mtu ambaye ana dark history. But hata kama tuko na dark history bado we have to move on bwana asifiwe lazima tusonge mbele tena despite of many things ambazo zimekuwa zikihape huko nyuma tutabaki kule hatuwezi baki pale bwana asifiwe so mungu atusaidie tena as we start this year umwambie tu mungu mimi nataka kuanza tena na wewe despite of many things najua tu maisha yangu itakuwa perfect haijakuwa perfect mbele za mungu but i'm ready to start again with you bwana asifiwe tutaenda tena kuona the book of professions chapter for fast way to mtu tu akaweza pata haraka anaweza nisomea Ephesians 4 past 22 and the bible says to put off concerning the former behavior the old man that is corrupt according to the deceitful lust one as the old man 
Uh, mi nilikuwa na nikipanga this someone nikajua ya kwamba atanish tunakuanga Christians tumeogoka yes but kuna many things of our past ambao bado tunaenda tumebeba bwana asifiwe eh uh, and hizo past wika, hakuna kitu ambayo tutafanya you when tukitaka kufanya anything bado tunakumbuka about our past bwana asifiwe si Mungu atusaidie mwaka huu tuachane na the past na to focus in the will of God bwana asifiwe ni kwa sababu hatuwezi fanya kazi ya Mungu kama bado tumebeba our past bwana asifiwe kuna past hata kwa kanisa kuna past ambayo the crash ambayo ulikuwa nayo kwa kanisa so uwezi move on because bado kuna kitu umebeba ile baraka Mungu amekuwa amekuandalia kwa maisha yako uwezi ukapata hiyo baraka because there are many things of the past ambayo umebeba bwana asifiwe if we live in the past we will never embrace the future god has stored for us bwana asifiwe that future the bright future ambayo Mungu ametuandalia huko mbele if we still focus on the former things hizo baraka ambayo Mungu ameandaa mbele yetu kwa ajili ya maisha yetu, kwa ajili ya familia zetu, kwa ajili ya taifa letu, kwa ajili ya kanisa letu. Hatuwezi tukapata hizo vitu ni kwa sababu we still have the former things ambayo inafinya maisha yetu inaturudisha nyuma. Bwana asifiwe. Si Mungu asaidie kila mmoja wetu ambaye ameingia mahali hapa. Tuachane na the former things and we focus. Umuliza Mungu siku ya leo what is the will what is the purpose of me being in in in, in charge bwana asifiwe what is the purpose of me to be alive today si kwa uwezo wetu tunaishi siku ya leo but inamaanisha kwamba god has a purpose in you kuna that chance ambayo Mungu bado amekupatia but you still are in the past praise god Amen. god is not like human beings atukumbushe to look back unajua binadamu uh, Mtu sasa hivi akianza niangalia na ubiri alafu labda akumbuke kitu yenye nilifanya huko shule huko primary. Akuja aseme wewe na huyu kwani anaweza ubiri bwana asifiwe. Lakini Mungu angalie hiyo. When you ukiamua kuanza tena na Mungu the former things inaenda bwana asifiwe. Mungu anaanza upya tena na yeye bwana asifiwe. Na unaendelea Mungu as long as you have faith and you are ready to move on praise God. Lakini si eti ya kwamba uh, because unataka sasa kuanza kila siku na Mungu you keep on ukirudi nyuma uki, ukienda mbele bwana asifiwe ukiamua kuanza na Mungu focus on God bwana asifiwe focus in the will of God bwana asifiwe ndio Mungu atusaidie kwa kila jambo ambayo tunafanya we have to focus bwana asifiwe we have to focus in the will of God bwana asifiwe tutaacha former things alafu tufocus na the will of God praise God Mungu atusaidie sana in the name of Jesus praise God Mungu akianza na wewe siku ya leo. Mungu akianza maisha yako na wewe. Mungu aweze akakuacha. Lakini binadamu he can leave you anytime. anytime. Praise God. Binadamu anaweza kufike na yeye mahali akuachane na yeye na wewe. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini Mungu akianza na wewe, lazima atamaliza safari na wewe. So mwambie Mungu siku ya leo, hii safari Bwana ambayo nimeanza na wewe, hii safari yangu ya wokovu ambayo nimeanza na wewe, usiniache. Natamani tu nikatembee na wewe hadi mwisho. Bwana asifiwe. Ninatamani nikatembee na wewe hadi nikaone uso wako. Bwana asifiwe. Ni kwa sababu if we focus on the hata nikifocus na former things Iwezi kanisaidia Bwana asifiwe. Iwezi ka add any value kwa maisha yangu. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, nikasema tena uh, our past failures, brokenness and pain no longer define us. Praise God. As long as umeamua kukuja katika nyumba ya Bwana. Hizo vitu zingine zote zenye zilikuwa sa past, failures, pain, brokenness. Kuna kazi umaifanya uka uka lose up sana ukasema hata sasa hizo ukiambia uanze kazi tena unaona sasa huyu ananiambia nini praise god that pain that pitan is ambayo bado uko nayo kama umempokea ume bwana kama tumbilio wa maisha yako praise god ushampokea mungu and you are ready to move on with god hizo vitu zote you have to forget and think of god ufikirie tu at the end of the day hizo vitu zote god has a reason hizo failures zote ambazo tulifanya huko nyuma mungu ako na sababu Nilikuja ku realize kwa hii maisha hakuna kitu chochote ambacho kinafanyika bila Mungu kujua. Bwana asifiwe. He has a reason for everything ambayo inatendeka kwa maisha yetu. So we have to be thankful. Bwana asifiwe. We have to be thankful to the Lord. Hata chochote ambacho tumepitia kwa maisha mwambie Mungu ninakushukuru bado linalinua jina lako. Nimefail hapa lakini tainuka tena. Nilianguka hapa lakini niko tayari kwenda tena na wewe. Unishikilie Bwana nisije nikabaki mahali hapo. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Atayemsa. 
At times, it's uh, ni sisi watu wana tutegemea. There are so many people who, who are depending on us. Lakini ni sisi ambao tu, eh, we are dependent on, we are Christians. Na sisi ndio tu, eh, watu kule nje wana tutegemea. Lakini sisi ndio tumekosa tumaini. We are supposed to be good example. Tuwashike wale tu, eh, wajua ya kwamba, mtu akitembea na mungu. It doesn't matter how long it will take. As long as you are working with, with God, kuna kuna Right, uko mbele, bona sifiu. Uko mbele, kuna mwangaza. Praise God. So, tusikose matumaini kwa maisha yetu. Hata kama imekuwa umewak na mungu miaka yako yote, na uh, you don't see any change in your life, bado tembea na mungu. Usimuache mungu ni kwa sababu ya surrounding. Praise God. Usimuache mungu ni kwa sababu kuna vitu mingi ambu umekua ukiombea sasa, you don't want now to, umechoka sasa, utapita ena kutembea na mungu. Bona sifiu. So, Tukwe tayari siku ya leo kutambia na mungu. Bwana sifiwe. Tukwe tayari tena siku ya leo kuanza tena upia na mungu. Hata ingawa haijakuwa raisi. Najua hiyo safari haijakuwa raisi. Lakini nitaanza na mungu tena. Praise God. Uh, nikaona kuna some ways. Three ways God make things new. Kuna bitu chatu ambwe mungu. And I make uh, things new again. Praise God. He restores the lost time. Praise God. Our God is faithful God. Hata kama kuna, kuna wakati uh, unaona uh, ukufanya kitu. Labda the whole of last year hata hakuna anything uli invest. Bona sifio. Lakini God is a faithful God. Yeye ni mwamilifu. He will restore everything ambo imepotea. Bona sifio. That lost time ambo we unaona nilipotesa yu time si kufanya kitu. As long as you work with God. As long as you start with God. Ukiamuka asubu with God. Jioni God, ukitepea kwa barabara God, bona sifio. So anza kila pitch na mungu, and he is ready to restore back that lost time, that lost health. Kuna vitu mingi sana tumepotea, sazingine tumepoteza. Maisha yetu tumepoteza vitu mingi sana. We have lost time. Afya yetu wa itiakuwa njema. Lakini kwana, akotayari kurejesha maradufu. Praise God. Bona sifio tena. The second one uh, is a uh, he, he offers a renewed mercy. Bwana sifio. His mercies are new every day. Bwana sifio. Neema yake ni mpia kila siku na kila wakati. So, uki, ukianza na mungu, ukitambia safari, safari yako na mungu, he offers that renewed mercy to his own, which is new each and every day. Bwana sifio. Praise God. Uh, ya tatu, he promised us a good plans for his people. Praise God. He promised, he has good plans. Uh, in a fact, to get away by the party, to put it to kama unaona things are not working the way they are supposed to work. One has few. But the two jambi, two jinene, God, I know you have good plans. Praise God. Ata kama this is a challenge, I know you have good plans. Praise God. Na hizo, hizo promises ama mungu ama ame kuandalia. Lazima baka zitatimia. Bwana sifio. It doesn't matter how long it will take. Aijalishi ni wakati muda mugani mungu uh, amba ata, ata, ata later hizo promises. But it must come to pass. Praise God. Let me give you a short story. Uh, Tukona our, our brother Holly kukua kwangu kwa yumbani. And uh, yeah, kwa tuza hake. Yani kuna tule mtu different kwa familia. Anaishi tu a very funny life. A daddy don't care. So, siku ingine, mama kanipigia, kanyambia, sijua mipatikana na friends, ambuwa si wazuri, na hameshikwa. Nika kasirika sana, nika mwambia, mazi, wacha kaya huko, na misi hizi toa leo pesa yangu. Wacha tuwa kaya huko, wakule marabe. Mama kaona nimejama, akakata simu. So, kukata simu kumbe ya kaenda kuomba. After 15 minutes, akakuja, akanipigia. Akanambia, sasa, unafikiri hui mtoto tukemuachia shetani, si atangamia. Na tukimuacha, tunamuachia nani. Nikasikia tena moyo wangu tena imekuwa na msama kukwa sana. Because ni sisi ambao tunafaa kupeana hope. We are the Christians. We are supposed to support, to, to support wenya wajamjua mungu. We are supposed to bring them to the kingdom of God. Hata kama hamekosea, what are we supposed to do to bring, to bring them to the kingdom of God? Wana sifio. Wewa umeko uki, ukitembea na mungu. Au njawana many challenges. Lakini kuna watu wengine wajui what is to work with God. Kuchambea na mungu inamanisha nini. Lakini wewe mwenye umejua kuchambea na mungu. 
how do you encourage the believers? Una encourage aje mtu ambaye ako kule nje. Yeye aje kutembea na Mungu ni nini? Mbona asifiwe? So when you need to learn how some of these scriptures and say okay I have been working with God and I know God na najua Mungu ubadilisha kila hali hakuna ile hali Mungu aweze badilisha and as long as nimesimama and I'm ready to walk with God I want to stand because of these people Bwana Sifiri I will stand because of my brothers I will stand because of my families nitatembea na Mungu ni kwa sababu ya Bwana Sifiri hata kama itakuwa ngumu waje I'm ready to stand praise God hata kama ni kuwaombea mziko itakuwa kubwa lakini nitasimama pamoja nao Bwana asifiwe so we as christians tusiposa matumaini kuna watu wengi sana kule nje ambao they are depending on us they are depending on our prayers they are depending on our teachings they are depending waone the moral teachings ambao sisi tuko nayo Bwana asifiwe lakini sisi wenyewe tumekosa tumaini Bwana asifiwe sisi wenyewe tunatembea na Mungu lakini hatujibikani sisi wenyewe tunatembea na Mungu lakini mtu akikuja to seek help from us atuweze tukapatia suluhisho Bwana asifiwe. So, wacha Mungu atusaidie tukakuwa suluhisho hata kule nje. Tukipatana na any challenge ni kwa sababu tumejua importance of working with, with God. Na tumeona kutembea na Mungu iko na faida mingi sana kwa maisha yetu. Wacha wenye wako kule nje pia wajue hawa wametembea na Mungu. Hata mimi naweza anza kutembea na Mungu. God will lift Bwana asifiwe. Ah uh, tukaona tena hiyo uh, promise and good plans utapata kwa the book of Jeremiah 29:11 And then uh, another thing things that will come when God make things new Mungu akifanya hizi vitu zote new he has renewed your strength amekufanya kiumbe kipya tena despite of many past despite of many things ambao we go through Mungu sasa amekuja akatimiza hayo amen Uh, umeanza tena upya na yeye na umeanza kutembea na yeye tena step by step kuna vitu bado zitakuja bwana asifiwe we have new trials praise god hata kama kulikuwa na trials kule nyuma bado kutakuwa na challenges kuna trials zilikufanya ukaluso kuna challenges zilikufanya ukawachana na hiyo ndoa bwana asifiwe ukikuja kwanza na Mungu tena kuna new trials ambazo zitakuja Bwana asifiwe so you have to be strong in the Lord praise God ukirudi kwanza na Mungu tena si unakuja kutulia because you have served with God si ukuje ukae chini you have to work on your salvation Bwana asifiwe you have to work on your salvation sasa uko very strong Bwana asifiwe you build your muscles in the name of Jesus praise God tutakuwa the second one tutakuwa na new failures hata kama ulikuwa unaanguka bado tu bado usipochunga tena usipowalk tena in the necessary way in the ways of god bado tu utaanguka praise god what are you supposed to do ndio usianguke uh, ukiona like somebody mwenye alikuwa anaokoka na ajaka sana kwa wokovu akikaa huko nje kuna possibility anaweza rudi kule nje lakini akipenda vitu zenye zinafanyika kanisa zina akobisi kwa kanisa hiyo kitu itamsaidia asirudi nyuma tena praise god ya mwisho new fig trees but his goodness would guard them all bwana asifiwe at the end of the tunnel mungu atakufanya ukwe afikta bwana asifiwe fig trees will come hizo vitu zote zimekuja umelearn many things lakini mungu atakufanya upo mshindi tena bwana asifiwe hiyo mshindi itakuja ifunike hiyo mambo yote ambayo ume, umepitia praise god inakuja inafunika kila kitu naona hey this is the grace of god praise god so mungu atusaidie sana tunapotembea na mungu kwa hii safari hata tukipatana na any challenge ambayo iko mbele yetu mungu atusaidie tukafike mwisho bwana asifiwe tusiende tufike katikati tuachane tena na mungu alafu tukuje tuanze tena fresh bwana asifiwe Let's start. Na tusiache hapo. Tuendelee na Mungu mwambie Mungu unishikilie. Peke yangu siwezi. Praise God. Amen. So, I have a question today. The, the question that we have to ask ourselves is that uh, what is God saying about today? Ni nini Mungu anasema about about us today? Bwana asifiwe. Mungu anasema nini kuhusu kuhusu maisha yako siku ya leo? You have been umekuwa kweli kwa past umekuwa kweli kwa hizo vitu zote lakini uliamua kutembea na Mungu. Mungu anasema nini because of today? Because of your life today. Because of your salvation today. Bwana asifiwe. 
And to the Pata Jibu from the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. Second Corinthians five seventeen. The Bible says, Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. One as few. Amen. We are new. We are new creatures. The past is so supposed to equal our portion for my shape. One as few. The past the meander. We are the new creatures. We are the new creatures in the Lord. Bona ame to find a to make wall again. One as a few. Praise the Lord. So because we are new, let's walk in the ways of God. One as a few. Let's learn to walk on our salvation. Despite of many past and more, love the past in Isaiah so far, it can even it can even affect your salvation. One as a few. The past it can affect sana even in the house of God. A way to find a find a kid in the house of God with a genuine heart because of the past. One as a few. So it was my prayer this year that may the Lord give me the strength. Ni wachana na the past and to focus on my salvation. Bwana asifiu. To focus on the will of God in my life. Bwana asifiu. Si hata wewe ikue, ikue ombi la maisha yako. Bwana asifiu. Mwaka huu ukatembe na mungu bila kuona nyuma. Bwana asifiu. Ukatembe na mungu because kuna promises and boys ziko mbele yetu. Praise God. And we, if we keep on looking at back, looking at our past, hizo promises mungu wa maa meanda kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Atutaweza kuyapata. Praise God. Mungu wa tusaidia sana. Nimemalizia hapa siku ya leo wacha nimwalike bisho. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Si tuapishe tu mbili wetu wa leo kama hofu. Are you blessed? Yes. Usimame juu na miguu yetu. Inamini kwamba Bwana amenena nasi kila moja na na ufunuo wake ameupata. Na Mungu anakuwa mwaminifu sana maana anasema katika neno lake haandai meza bure bila watu wa kukula. Kwa hivyo wewe ambao umekuja katika ushirika jioni ya leo hiyo jumbe ilikuwa yako ya kwamba kuna maeneo unafaa ubadilishe. Umekatalia sana kule nyuma. The past yako imekushika sana. Mungu amekuandalia mema mbele lakini kuna mambo ya zamani bado imekushika. Kuna vidonda vya zamani umekataa kuvipone. Mungu anapofuatia maono ya mbele shetani akukumbusha ya nyuma. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wako jioni ya leo vile tumeambiwa ya kwamba Mungu anaenda kufanya jambo jipya na linaenda kuchipuka kwetu. Ya kwamba kuna maji yanaenda kuchipuka jangwani. Hapo unaoni kama hakuna njia mbele za wewe. Hapo unaona kuna tumaini kuna tumaini lakini Mungu anataka tu in one condition sahau na yaliyopita kuangalia hiyo mbele kwa sababu Mungu hapo na mambo mazuri mbele yake. Hagai akafika mahali akaona kabisa hapa kuna hope. Chakula tulikuwa tumepakiwa na Abraham kwa chombo kimeisha. Chombo cha maji kimeisha. Na kule tunaenda ni mbali. Maandiko yanasema kwamba aliweka mtoto pale ili asimuone akikufa na akaenda akajificha mbali. Na maandiko yanasema kwamba malaika wa Bwana akamtokelezea, akamwambia aga wacha kuzunika wala kulia. Huyu mtoto ni seed of Abraham. Kwa hivyo kuna baraka ndani yake na huyu mtoto pia atakuwa mkuu sana, atamiliki sana. Kwa hivyo malaika akachibua maji na aga akakunywa na mtoto Ishmael akaishi. Kwa sababu yeye alikuwa mtoto wa Abraham, maji kachibuliwa jangwani. Hakujiuliza kwa nini Abraham amefanya mambo alaumu Abraham Mungu alimtokezea na siku sababu yote ilifanya Mungu akumbuke aga alikumbuka aga kwa sababu ya Ishmael so nataka kusemaje ya kwamba wewe bila ulivyo leo there is a seed of God in you kuna kitu cha Mungu ndani yako cha maana so hicho litafanya Mungu jangwani afungue maji achibue maji Bwana asifiwe sahau na ya zamani ona hapo mbele maji kichibuliwa Asabu si amen. amen. Sika jeni mkono mwambie kuna kitu kipya kinazaliwa ndani yako. 
kuna kitu Mungu anafanya siku hii ya leo. Muombe kwa dakika moja. Hicho kitu kipya ama kizuri ambao Mungu amepanga kuchibua kwa maisha yetu. Mwambie Bwana achibue kwa jirani yako. Muombe neema ya kuachana na the past. Maana huyo ndio adui mkubwa wa baraka na miujiza yetu. Watu wengi leo hii tungekuwa mbali lakini our past is to hold captive. Hatuwezi to come move to the next level. Wengine tumejawa na, na, na kujitharau kwa sababu ya past zetu. Ambia Bwana akuondolee. Ambia Bwana aondolee mwenzako. Maje kadaba kata. Ndio maybe inawezekana ulilijatua long time ago. But saa hizi umependwa. Wacha kulivi ni wa past any longer. Believe in the name of Jesus. Maridi Musa katanya na banaza. Masharala na babulusi ya tabanizia. Mariko dobo salia kanta na mazo dobo ya kadana. Malibu shaya na mandiri ribusi katabana. Zabali kataraba yuko ribazika na madanzia. Masharala bali kataya na banda. Wana ili impasti medusumbua. Imesumbua watu wengi wana. Wengine wako na vidonda vya miaka 20 iliyopita. Wengine bado wako na vidonda vya miaka kumi iliyopita. Wengine bado wako na vidonda ya miaka mitano iliyopita. Bwana Mungu Shetani ameleta mabidonda vingi kwetu kwa sababu ya mambo ya zamani. Lakini Bwana tunaomba kwa sababu tumesikia neno lako. Yesu alisema ya kwamba tumekuwa safi kwa sababu ya maneno uliyotufundisha. Wacha tupokee hilo neno na tubadilike jioni ya leo. Wacha tuwe safi tena. Wacha tuanze tena. Let the newness of Christ be born in our hearts this night in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Maliko sia dabadi kanaanza. Mashata rabaduka ridabosi kadabadanzia. Riabuza badika ya daza Winolewe milele, utukuzo milele, wabudiwe milele Mfano wa fane, bwana wa mabwana, mungu wa mungu yote Wewe ni ngome imala, wenye hati wanapo kifumia wanakuwa salama Tumekataa kuwa hoa, tuwa kuwa captiva Na the past yetu ambaye bwana imetukalia Imetunenea kwa mba hatuwezi Past imetuambia tuwezi kwa faulu kesho Lakini leo tunadivose na any negative report of our past Tunai cancel in the realm of the spirit Na tunasema kwa mba tunaanza uko We are starting fresh in the name of Jesus. Something new is going to happen in our lives. Something new is going to manifest in our lives. Something good is going to appear in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of a living God. Lord God Almighty, we adore you, we praise you. Abba Father, we glorify your holy name. Yeshua Messiah, we lift up your name on higher. Worshipping your name, glorifying your name, O Lord. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy of our praise. Holy God, we worship you. Holy God, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Let it go, Sika Tayada Zabalika Nabazia. Let go, Bakusa Katarida Busha Yanamanda. We bless you, our Heavenly Father. We honor you, Jehovah. We give you praise, our Lord and Savior. There is none like you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you Baba. Kwa sababu kuomba. Baba tunakushukuru chioni ya leo kwa sababu tumefika mwisho wa ibada siku ya leo. Ilo neno wacha Bwana likapata nafasi ndani yetu, tukaweza kulifanyisha kazi na tukachukua mahatua ambayo inatakana tuchukue ili kwamba tukaweza kusonga the next level. Bwana unapotumana unatumanako ukiwa na kusudi. Either umetumana kwa sababu ya ukombozi, either umetumana kwa sababu ya uponyaji, either umetumana kwa sababu ya deliverance. Bwana chochote ambacho ulikuwa umekusudia leo iko watu wako, tunaomba na itimie sasa in the name of Jesus. Wacha hilo neno Bwana lianguke katika mchanga ulio na rotuba ambao ni moyo wetu Bwana. Tuweze kupatia nafasi neno lako likapenya ndani yetu, ikaweza kutusaidia kufanya mabadiliko makubwa. Tukaanza upya na kuangalia mbele kwa sababu hiyo ndio mapenzi yako Bwana. Mwaka huu wa 2024 tunataka mabadiliko kwa maisha yetu. Tunataka kuonekana Bwana tuke watu walioinuliwa, watu ambao Bwana uokovu wetu na ushindi unaonekana. Na ikafanyika hivyo tukidivorce our pastor. So help pass over the mighty. Maneno yote tuliyosikia na wa pastor na imekuwa na click in our mind each and every day. Kuanzia leo tuna divorce na hayo maneno. Kuanzia leo tuna divorce na pastor yetu. Na
kusema kwamba tumeachana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ndio inawezekana tuliumizwa. Ndio inawezekana tuligonga ukuta. Ndio inawezekana kuna maeneo tulifela, lakini umetunenea hatuta zidi kudumu pale. Ni wakati wa kuinuka na kusonga mtazamia kile ambacho Kristo umetuwekea mbele. Mwendo huu tuweza kuumaliza kwa ushindi. Ili kwamba siku ya mbele Kristo utarudi utakuita good and faithful servant. Tusaidie na utupenee kila mmoja hali yote anapitia leo hii na maybe imekuwa ni kama mlima past yetu ambaye ameonyesha kwamba hatuwezi kwa sababu tumesikia neno tupe neema ya kushinda pokeeni hiyo neema ya kushinda pokeeni neema ya kushinda kwanza leo naomba victory naomba grace of victory in your life and in your family in the mighty name of Jesus chochote kinapigana na wewe kwanza leo kimeshindwa chochote kinasimama mbele zako na kukumbusha your past and your failure kwanza leo kitasubmit kwanza leo kitabao na kuondokea katika jina la Yesu Kristo tupe nguvu ya kusonga mbele tupe nguvu ya kupigana tupe nguvu ya kutoshika katika jamii ambayo tuko lakini mwanzo tupe neema ya kusonga mbele katika jina la Yesu wale ambao wanatazama kupitoka mitandao hii bwana ama kutazama baadaye ninawaombea neema yako uweze kuwashukia ewe mfano yote atajunganisha na ujumbe huo yote atajunganisha na haya maombi wacha maisha yake ichukue mkono mwingine asante kristo yesu maana umetusikia na umetenda na katika jina la yesu tumeona hata kuamini amen amen and amen